I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and this is part three of growing flowers in a deeply shaded border. So we talked about getting uh, rid of the old leaves on hellebores in a previous video, and we talked about um, separating the astilbe plants here uh, in another video. And now at the front of the border, you see one of my favorite shade plants, and this primrose here, the Wanda primrose. And this is more of like, they call it an English primrose. You see it has short stems compared to this is the more uh, traditional primula, a primulose with a taller stem, which is called a cow's slip sometimes. But what I want to show you about this little purple primrose, very much like when we dug up the astilbe, this is the astilbe here, and I separated it into small pieces, the same thing with the wand of primroses. Now you can wait till they're done blooming to do this. Um, and all you do is you kind of look for there's a seam or separation and twist apart and then you have these separate little plants and by pulling them apart like this I can add to my little border that I have and spread them about the front of the garden they're very very short primroses and the Wanda is rather slug resistant which is why I really like it um, not slug proof slug resistant but by replanting these these smaller plants that you've just divided that gives them the energy to go ahead and bloom a lot next year. Okay, now these are floppy greens from snowdrop bulbs. Snowdrops, which bloom very, very early in the winter, January, February, they also will do well in a shade garden. But look here, what I like to do on my snowdrop bulbs, you can see I've left here the spent seed from a snowdrop flower. The flower has bloomed earlier in the year. And now in the spring, you see these seed pots. And I leave these, or else you can just pluck them off, like I like to do. And I just throw them into the soil. And then that'll hopefully make more snowdrop bulbs so that this deeply shaded border will have early spring color, mid spring color, and then these will still be they divided up here. This is going to give us some summer color. So you can have flowers even in a deeply shaded bed. This has been Mary Ann Pnetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.